The Princess Royal has been in Harwell in South Oxfordshire meeting scientists and marking 10 years since the Diamond Light facility was officially opened. Diamond has supported 10,000 scientists in that time, with research ranging from the development of new medicines to hydrogen fuel cells. Sinead Carroll reports. It's 10 years since the Queen opened the Diamond Light source, and today her daughter, Princess Anne, has been back to see how it's developed. A decade of discoveries using light beams. These big machines like the one behind me have billions of electrons whizzing through and as they go through these giant magnets that you can see, the red and the yellow and the green bending magnet here, those electrons are controlled, it pushed in different directions and as that happens, light is emitted. The control of that light has enabled the scientists here at the Diamond Light Source over the last 10 years to do some pretty amazing things. Some of them on this machine. I-11. So here we're doing experiments that last a very long period of time. I mean a classic example is your mobile phone because when you use it every day you don't want a 24-hour battery that would drive you mad. You want a battery that lasts a very very long time. And that's what we're trying to make. We're trying to make new materials and look at new materials that last these periods of time. Other beams map the structure of viruses. It can help with things like drug design um, if you know this structure of the molecule you're trying to target, you can design new drugs to fit against that molecule. So having the structure is very useful for drug discovery. And scientists are not stopping there. We have plans, we have the technology that could make us at least 10 times brighter. And 10 times brighter means you find new drugs 10 times faster. You can look at the structure of the materials for tomorrow 10 times more effectively. So you know those materials that go into your cell phone, that go into jet aircraft, that go into cleaner technology, all of those will be, will be based on research that's done here at Diamond. These plaques also mark the synchrotron's 28th beam opening the way for more new and bright discoveries. Sinead Carroll, BBC South Today.